Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here and I uh, got some Friday trading footage for you guys. It was nothing unusual really on my end other than one PR, but we got some more of Brittany's training footage. Now she does three sets of all these exercises. So we got most of her basic work on here. She doesn't want to squat yet on camera. She's not comfortable squatting on camera yet because she doesn't like her form yet. But we will eventually get around to getting some of that up there. But um, same thing last time on the Romanian deadlift, so that this time I had her use a rack so that she could just lift it out and step back so she didn't have to bend over so far to pick it up for a Romanian. I think she ended up doing 11 reps instead of 10 on this set, but normally she's doing three sets of 10 with this weight right now. And uh, again, her form's looking pretty good. And like I said last time, I'm really proud of her progress so far. She's done really well in the gym considering she's had multiple old injuries and issues we've had to rehab. And you guys need to remember where both of us were not in our 20s anymore. So rehabbing injuries and things becomes really important before you can increase strength. So she's really come a long way since we started. Deadlift today, this felt heavier than last week. So I'm really kind of stalling just a little bit on this. I'm going to have to just keep pushing through it. But I will eventually increase this today. This The six reps with the 515 beltless was really 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 heavy for me today and uh, it could just be not getting quite enough sleep last night and hopefully this weekend of me taking time off from training for the whole weekend will let me recover enough and we'll see how I'm doing on Monday it might get to a point where I need to deload a little bit if this uh, if I can't increase and add a rep sometime in the next week or so I might need to go ahead and deload on this because again I could be kind of pushing beyond what I'm able to recover from with the heavy pulling at least twice a week like this but still I've made really fantastic fantastic strength gain so far this year on the deadlift so nothing to really complain about if I stall a little bit every now and then it just happens and up next we're doing her incline dumbbell presses uh, again I'll have her use a slightly different technique you guys will notice that I have her hands turned in they're pronated into a hammer grip type position and it's because again she's previously had some shoulder issues and as an artist and everything, she has to use her shoulders a lot, and so they tend to, to have problems for her. So we do a lot of exercises that pay close attention to her shoulders, and that includes her incline benches. So that's the reason I have her palms turned in. It puts less stress on the rotator cuffs, just like I do that narrow grip on her lat pull downs coming up here in a minute also. Uh, today was a PR for me on the incline bench which I'm really happy about. I kind of got it last time, but the spotter touched it last time. This time my spotter didn't touch it. So I got my seventh rep with this weight, which I've only recently increased. So it's just a matter of time before I hit eight reps. And as you guys know, I'm using a very old school linear progression model. I just take a weight when I can do eight reps with a weight with good form. Then I go ahead and increase the weight and just try to build back up to eight reps. Again, it usually drops me back down to five or six. So I'm staying in the five to eight rep range. And once again, Brittany is doing her lat pull downs for you guys. And again, like, like I said, she does three sets of the stuff. We just recorded one of each today just to avoid the repetition. But again, her back development is coming along pretty nicely there. Uh, again, she's always had a good back, though. She used to lift before and had quit lifting for about a year or so when we got together. So I've got her back into it. And her back development is coming along really nice. I know some people are like, well, her form's not perfect on these. That's okay, guys, because... Uh, her back is getting stronger and developing in spite of that. My behind the neck presses, I felt really tired on these today. For some reason, I think I only got like seven reps with this. I've, I'd actually gotten to eight on this, but because I'm doing a lot of heavy uh, close grip incline pressing, I'm not worried about progressing so much on this. I wait till I can get eight reps really comfortably consistently on this before I try to increase. And so I'm going to wait just a little while longer to increase the weight on this. Just again, because this is a potentially risky exercise so I don't want to overdo it on this one I'm using it just to build size in my shoulders and overall mobility so I'm not worried about that and uh, Brittany just uses an empty lighter bar a little 20 pound bar on these again the same reason she's had some shoulder issues and so we're doing this just to keep her shoulder mobility up we're not worried about her getting particularly strong on this exercise right now but it has worked wonders for her entire shoulder girdle and mobility on it and again, it's just about slowly building that up. We had to wait three months of training and doing other stuff for her shoulders before we could start doing these behind the neck presses. But now that she's able to do them, it's relieved a lot of the pain that she has in her shoulders and it's increased her mobility and flexibility again, which is kind of what we want for her on this. And then last, I do my laying dumbbell skull crushers or laying dumbbell tricep extensions. 
And again, I'm not really progressing that hard on these right now because my pressing is going up. I'm just trying to maintain on these. I'm not worried about it. I just did my eight reps with my 55s at the end after doing two other presses. And for now, that's good enough. Eventually, I will increase these when I feel comfortable doing so. But on a lot of these isolation movements, I try to get to uh, 10 reps before I increase the weight. And then eight just felt really heavy today like it has uh, the last week or so on this exercise. But again, it doesn't matter because I'm increasing on my main press. So this is just an auxiliary movement. So it's just there to build extra metabolic fatigue. So I hope it's been informative and I will talk to you guys next time.